Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Ryan Reynolds had mixed the personality of Deadpool and a 1940s noir detective and threw it into a Pikachu? Well, join me, trainers, in this journey into the wonderful world of Pokemon Detective Pikachu, the spoiler-free edition. What up, guys, and welcome to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know, I printed it out myself. And besides that PhD in nerd culture, little known fact, I am also a Pokemon master. So it is time for me to bring you guys a spoiler-free review of Detective Pikachu. And dare I say it, it may actually be a video game movie that isn't absolute garbage. <gasps> I know, they exist. It's shocking. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this movie that honestly I've been really excited for ever since the first trailer came out and they revealed the Pokemon and how much effort it seemed they actually put into this movie. Also, side note for a little nostalgia trip, they also gave out a pack of Pokemon Detective Pikachu Pokemon cards. I'm not going to open it here. I'm actually saving the pack opening for the spoiler version of this review that will be on my main channel, Mr. J's Reviews. So this will be saved for that video. So if you want to see what cards I get, you'll have to hop on over to my spoiler filled version of this review on my main channel. And I'll leave that review linked at the end of this one, so you gotta get through this one first before you head into spoiler territory. So, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, of course, I have to say it straight up, I am a longtime Pokemon fan. I was born in 94, so Red and Blue came out in America, I wanna say around like 96, 97, and I played them in kindergarten, so that was like 99. That was my first ever video game, and honestly, it was the first fandom I ever got into that I wasn't introduced to by a parent or older relative. Comics, I was introduced to by my uncle, and a little bit by my dad. Um, and then, of course, Star Wars, I was introduced to by my uncle, a little bit by my dad. Harry Potter, I was introduced to by my second grade teacher. But Pokemon, that was all me. I was instantly hooked and I gravitated towards it ever since I was a little kid. First video game I ever beat by myself was Pokemon Red and it was awesome. You know, me and my dad would play too. It, it was a fun time. This was before I had siblings. So like, of course, that's what we did back then. And you know, I, I collected the cards. I had a ton of the plushies. I had so much anime merch. I had the Ash Ketchum hat. Like I was all in on Pokemania and honestly, I am still a hardcore Pokemon fan. Pokemon is the main reason that I have every generation of the Nintendo handheld consoles. Because every generation of the Nintendo handheld console has a Pokemon game. And that's the reason I'm getting a Switch. Because I want to play Sword and Shield. I've played every single generation of Pokemon from Gen 1 to Gen 7. And I will definitely be playing Gen 8. And honestly, I've loved every single one of them. I am a staunch Gen 5 defender. Everybody hates on Unova and Black and White. The anime is terrible, yes. But Gen 5 has one of the best, if not the best, storylines in all of the main series Pokemon games. I will stand by that. Yes, they have a couple lazy designs. But for the most part, all those designs make sense. And I really enjoyed it. And plus, it's in a region based off of our home territory of the good old US of A. So I personally don't have as much issues with Unova as many other hardcore Pokemon fans do. But we're not talking about the games here. We are talking about Pokemon Detective Pikachu. What did I think about this movie? Honestly, you guys, if you are a Pokemon fan, this is a must see because they do a great job with bringing the Pokemon to life. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go into spoilers and talk about which particular Pokemon 
you get to see in this movie. Obviously, you know a few of them from the trailer, like Charizard and Lunicolo. But I'm not going to spoil every single one of the designs you get to see in here. Because, man, some of those designs are freaking epic. Only one of them really had me like, okay, that's going to haunt my nightmares. And I'm going to talk about that more in the spoiler version. But all the Pokemon designs are amazing. Absolutely loved it. Whenever we got into the action and the battling with the Pokemon, that was really, really great. I enjoyed it a lot. I definitely felt like a little kid again and really enjoyed just that aspect. Now, the way they set up this world, it's completely different from what you would expect from the anime or the main series games, but it still feels like a Pokemon world. And that's what I really appreciate because that's also something that sets this movie apart, right? It could be easy to just kind of copy and paste the formula from the games or from the anime, but that's like a multi-hour storyline that you got to compress into an hour and a half, I think that movie was. And, you know, that's probably the issue that fans of the Detective Pikachu games may have with this movie, is that, you know, it's only an hour and a half, so... Definitely, even though I have no real knowledge of Detective Pikachu, I can tell that there were scenes that were definitely compressed and rushed a little bit in order to meet that time because you gotta uh, remind yourself that Pokemon and particularly, you know, Detective Pikachu is a kid's game. Pokemon is a children's franchise, despite plenty full grown adults like myself still loving and enjoying it. At its heart, it is a kid's franchise, so they had to, you know, shorten it to the hour and a half to keep that kid attention span. Now, that doesn't mean they also dumbed it down for kids. There's definitely a lot in here that'll go over kids' heads, a lot of great adult humor, but nothing that was like super edgy that was just like, all right, that's uncalled for. Honestly, a lot of the jokes land. It's really funny. It's very entertaining. Whenever we got Pokemon on screen, we are having a great time. The only thing that I will say about it is the human characters, while they're, I don't say they're like bad per se, they're very kind of one dimensional. Like, you know, you understand the story about the main character wanting to find his father and having issues with his father, and that in turn leading to his own personal issues with Pokemon and him kind of learning to overcome that as he bonds with Pikachu throughout the course of the movie. You know, you see that basic premise, you know, executed in the trailers, and that's pretty much what you get in the movie. There's nothing, like, super surprising in here, but let's be real. Like I said, Gen 5 had a very good, complex story for the black and white games. But other than that, Pokemon has always been pretty straightforward and simplistic. When it came down to storytelling, the main drive of the franchise has always been the Pokemon themselves, and that is what they really excelled at in this movie. You shouldn't really be looking for that deep of a story to begin with, but honestly, the story they gave us was still entertaining, it was still fun, I enjoyed it, like I said, the humor landed very well, and all the Pokemon had very unique personalities, and you know, some of the people might have been flat, but they were still pretty entertaining. I liked the awkwardness of the main character. He didn't come off as like whiny or annoying to me. At first, maybe a little, but as he started to grow into himself, I really started to root for him. And I really liked his bond with Pikachu. That was really well done. I liked the uh, news anchor girl. She was pretty hilarious. Um, I liked her personality. I liked that you know, she was a bit cheesy and over the top, but she was kind of acting this way because she felt as though that's how she needed to act in order to get attention from people to get them to notice her because she was kind of just the unpaid intern at the newsstand. So she wanted to prove that she could be this big time reporter. And I liked it. You know, she had this like very plucky vibe, but it never came off as annoying. And her Psyduck was hilarious. I loved all the moments with her Psyduck. It was great. The action was pretty awesome. I loved all the different battle scenes we got to see. There aren't that many of them, but when battles do happen, they are great. 
Honestly, you guys, if you are a Pokemon fan, I can't recommend this movie enough. It is definitely a must-see. Whether you were just a Gen 1 person, only played Red and Blue, whether you played the first two Pokemon games, or maybe you just got into it through Go, or maybe even Let's Go, I definitely think if you have enjoyed the Pokemon franchise at any point in your life, this is definitely a movie you need to go see because it's a lot of fun and it's a video game movie that was actually good. Now again, I've never played the Detective Pikachu game so I can't speak to how true it was to the source material, but I still feel like it captured the vibe from you know the clips I've seen of Detective Pikachu the game and, and some Let's Plays I've watched. So I think it did a really good job. I really enjoyed it. I hope it gets a sequel. Uh, this was awesome. As a Pokemon fan, I definitely feel satisfied, but let me know all your thoughts and feels in the comments down below, trainers, and don't forget I will be doing a spoiler version where I'm going to go into further detail about the plot and storyline and some of the Pokemon designs on my main channel, Mr. Day's Reviews. I will leave that linked in the outro card once that video goes up, as well as a video YouTube's mysterious algorithm thinks you might like from us here on Comic Universe. Don't forget to join the universe today by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to uh, throw your Pokeball at the like button as well to let us know you enjoyed it. And if you like what we do here and you want to see more from myself, DPZ, or C-Dubs, like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time we upload new videos. And we do that quite often. So, until next time, Pokemon trainers, it's time for B2 Return.